back, Steve Napolitano here with Brad Jacobson behind the camera and next to me I have John Descala, a fellow Paisan and Loyola Marymount uh, <laughs> graduate who is also known as Johnny Jet, johnnyjet.com which is a travel website and you've been on over 1800 uh, shows and in print and newspapers and whatnot and now you are at the pinnacle of your career talking here <laughs> with us and our cameras. That's right. So, and you're here at Manhattan Beach resident, right? I am. And I've been here for 20 something years. 20 something years. And yet you can't be here that often because I read that you've been to over 60 countries. Yeah, actually it's 70 now. 70 now. And got to uh, update the Wikipedia site. I, I know, someone's got to update <laughs> it. But uh, I love Manhattan Beach because it's so close to the airport. It takes me 10 minutes to, to get to LAX. Let's ask the obvious question is how did this start? How did you get involved in all this travel stuff? I graduated college and I started working at Marymount College as a recruiter. And they, usually when you're a college recruiter, you're just driving around to like Fresno and Bakersfield, mm -hmm. but everyone quit. So I got all these territories. So I was going to Hawaii three times a year, New York, New Orleans, Florida, everywhere. And I started learning all these different tricks on how to, you know, fly first class for cheap and stay at really nice hotels for really cheap. So I started, email was brand new. So I started sharing it with all my colleagues they hired. They hired all my friends. And we just competed who had the most miles and I was killing them because I read everything mm -hmm. and I'd ask questions. And I just started doing a little newsletter, and my nickname growing up was Johnny Jetski. Okay. So I used to jet ski on Long Island Sound, and then I was like, well, you know, I'm not Polish. I might as well just make it Johnny Jet. <laughs> and so I became a Johnny Jet. I, I bought the domain name. Back then, I could have bought McDonald's or right. Nike. I could have made millions. Laura Bly from USA Today found my website. She wrote about it. Once she wrote about it, it went all over. And my friends would call me up and say, turn on the TV right now. You're on... Uh, CNBC is website of the day and I'm like no yo, no there's no way and I really was that was amazing Wow and then people started calling me for interviews radio TV I wrote a book and then I had a show on the Travel Channel last year so it just keeps growing the number one tip I have always is to be genuinely nice to everyone the people you call on the phone the gate agents the flight attendants because no one's nice to these guys so you gotta be nice so I bring two boxes of chocolates one for the gate agents one for the flight attendants and sometimes three one for me if you, you know stick to one airline and try and maximize your miles that way because once you become an elite frequent flyer usually around the 25,000 mile mark you get all kinds of perks so you can get upgraded for cheap sometimes free depends on the airline and you also have to fly off peak so that's another mm -hmm. tip so you don't want to fly when all the business travelers are flying because you're not going to get upgraded we want to be impartial but is there one airline over others that well delta has a good frequent flyer program mm -hmm. in terms of getting free upgrades but they have the worst program in terms of redeeming them they charge double what everyone else charges so american and united are usually generally better in redeeming your miles and you can book them last minute too which i like the cost of fuel is so expensive and when it's high they do not make any money so they had to come up with ways when the fuel prices were really high to make money so they started charging for bags and then they charged started charging for food some airlines charge for carry-on bags now so i should mail my my luggage ahead of time it might be cheaper it actually it, that, that, that's a good tip i tell people that not only is it cheaper because when you when you travel you don't have to pay the, the airline baggage fees but when you land you don't have to stand around wait for the bag to come out which if it ever does come out and then you can take public transportation try at one new destination a year it's, or, or I, I say one new country a year I think by the time you're 50 years old you should have 50 countries under your belt you're still going strong I'm going strong I mean the big the most important thing about me is I tell the truth you know there are some bloggers out there that will you know that they get flown around the world and they'll lie they'll say you know they had the greatest experience when they had bed bugs or whatever I will tell the truth you know it doesn't matter because if, if you don't tell the truth no one's ever gonna believe you so final word is get up, get off the couch, and go somewhere, right? Exactly. But don't go without subscribing to Johnny Jet's travel newsletter. <laughs> Which I can find on johnnyjet.com. Yep. Well, one T, I'm not related to Joan Jet. This is <laughs> J-O-H-N-N-Y-J-E-T.com. And then also on Twitter at Johnny Jet or Facebook. Perfect. Thank you very much, Johnny. Thank you.